how to install a premium panel radiator. In all cases, it is strongly recommended that a suitably qualified professional installer or similar tradesperson carries out the installation. To install a premium panel radiator, you'll need the right tools. We recommend a flathead screwdriver, spanner, tape measure, spirit level, packaging cutter, pencil, drill and drill bit, radiator bleed key, cloths and PTFE tape, along with the correct fixings and screws for the wall on which you're installing the radiator. To ensure the radiator reaches you in the best possible condition, we ship our products using durable packaging, corner protection and front and side card protectors. The installation instructions are printed on the reverse of the packaging label. Carefully remove the plastic outer wrapping and dispose of it responsibly. In the package you'll find the L brackets, including safety top clips and bottom U clips, which are supplied in the same bag and another package containing the plugs and vent kit. We're using a Type 11 premium panel radiator for this installation. Here the back straps are located on the fins, whereas on types 21, 22 and 33, the back straps are located on the panel itself. Prior to installation, the water and heating system must be turned off. Remove top plastic paint plugs with a spanner and replace with working vent and blanking plug, supplied in packaging. The vent and plug should be tightened with a spanner, but remember to ensure they are not over tightened. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove bottom paint plugs and fit valve tails. Ensure valve tails are wrapped in PTFE tape and fitted to the bottom radiator connections prior to installation. Once you're happy that the radiator is prepared for installation, you need to consider the location where the radiator is to be installed. The radiator position may be predetermined by existing pipe positions or may be dictated by room shape and features. For this installation, we're using the centre of our wall, which is 4 metres long, which makes the centre point 2 metres in. Mark the central point where the radiator will be positioned and draw a line with a spirit level to show the vertical central position. Once the central position has been marked, identify the bracket mounting position, which must be a minimum of 158 millimeters from the floor, and using a spirit level, draw a horizontal line. Ensure there is a clearance of at least 100 millimeters at either side, and also 100 millimeters above and below the radiator. Using a tape measure, Measure the distance between the central points of the top back straps and divide this measurement by two. Now from the vertical central line marked on the wall, use the divided measurement that you've just taken and mark this on either side of the central line. Using a spirit level, draw two vertical lines from these marks for the bracket position. You'll need a third bracket position if your radiator is 1800 millimeters or wider. Line the brackets up against the guidelines you have drawn and carefully mark the locations where the screws will be fitted. Ensure the hook is at the bottom of the bracket. Once the positions have been marked, carefully drill the hole for the screw fixings. Place wall plugs into the drilled holes and position brackets against the drawn guide marks. Then carefully fix the brackets to the walls with your chosen screws. Once the brackets are fixed to the wall, 
ensure the top security clips and bottom U-clips are installed. With the help of a colleague, lift the radiator into position. To ensure the radiator is fitted securely to the top bracket security clip, use the back strap of the radiator to push the plastic security clip back, then slide the radiator into position. Ensure radiator is securely fixed onto both brackets. You might hear a small click when the radiator is successfully clipped into the top bracket security clip. The radiator is now mounted and in its final position. Once mounted into its final position and piped up, the valve connections can be tightened. This process should use just enough force to make the joints watertight. We suggest using a TRV and lock shield combination. Our range of TRVs and manual valves can be found in our heating solutions portfolio. Once all valves have been fitted, ensure everything has been installed correctly and once happy, the water and heating system can then be switched on so the radiator can be filled. The radiator should then be bled to ensure no air is trapped in the system and balanced to ensure even heat distribution and that there are no leaks. When you're happy that you've finished, dispose of packaging in a safe and environmentally friendly way. The installation is now complete. If you're looking at heating solutions for your next project, this product can be installed in a variety of large-scale applications, including offices, hotels, apartments and communal buildings. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video useful.